distilled networks, we block bots. We stop bad bots and malicious traffic from accessing websites, stealing and scraping your data, clicking on your ads, and spamming your forms. Basically stop any kind of automation against a website that website owners don't want. Distilled Networks uses Nginx as a reverse proxy. As a platform delivering content, it's pretty much best in breed. We needed something that was both fast, functioned as a reverse proxy, and was able to make quick decisions on content, uh, whether to serve or not. For our customers, as much as they want bots to not access their website, they also couldn't deal with major slowdowns. So Nginx's ability to serve pages back fast and to be extensible enough to allow additional programming languages to help us make those decisions is invaluable. Nginx empowers me to help protect people's websites, you know, uh, basically be able to make sure that the traffic they're getting are legitimate humans, the traffic they want, versus all sorts of bot traffic, bot attacks uh, that steal and waste their resources. When these bots come and we have to serve a page back to them quickly, we want to make sure that not only are we serving real people information as quickly as possible, but we also want to make sure that when Whenever we detect a bot or some bad actor against a website, we want to make sure that we can return information to them as quickly as possible just to get them off the site. And so in addition to just the reverse proxying features, Nginx being able to quickly return static content, uh, whether that's from you know a, a RAM drive on the machine or even just the, the hard drive itself, is very, very valuable to us. I don't think Distill Networks really happens without Nginx as a backbone layer. Um, just because a lot of the other web servers we looked at or were introduced to didn't have either the extensibility, the speed, or the ability to scale that Nginx does. The, the speed and reliability is kind of the main the main draw to us, you know. I don't think we'd have been able to necessarily do this in any other uh, web server or platform.